Welcome back, everybody, to Altcoin Daily. I had such a blast meeting you at Bitcoin Miami. But now back to business. There's so much going on in crypto. I'm going to catch you up in this 10-minute video. Make sure you like, make sure you comment, make sure you subscribe, and let's jump right in. Pulse Chain is the latest alternative L1 on the block. And like all L1s that start from nothing, it can only go up. So Pulse Chain is seeing some great metrics. Pulse Chain, a recently launched Ethereum fork, has seen a 50% growth in the past 24 hours, reaching a total value locked of 513 million. Interestingly, it seems that Pulse X is driving all chain activity. This is like their Uniswap. Are you currently using Pulse Chain? Pulse Chain seems kind of controversial to me, judging by some of the comments. What do you think? Let me know below. PayPal keeps rolling out and increasing their crypto features, in this case, integrating with MetaMask. Users in the United States can transfer Ethereum from PayPal to MetaMask. The company, of course, first announced their collaboration in 2022. Understand this. PayPal has just opened the door to hundreds of millions of users to get into the crypto world. You can now send crypto that you can buy through PayPal to MetaMask. Integration of PayPal and MetaMask. In your MetaMask wallet, you can just buy crypto using PayPal. So you select PayPal, you choose the amount, and you've just purchased some ETH. You can also buy and send crypto from PayPal and then send it to MetaMask. This is very big. Hundreds of millions of users of Venmo and PayPal, and all of them now have a way to onboard directly to a bankless wallet. I just think that is uh, absolutely massive and worth celebrating. Avalanche price. Avalanche daily active users, daily active users on Avalanche C chain trending up. Solana is integrating AI into their blockchain, raising their grant fund from 1 million to 10 million. The chat GPT plugin integrated into Solana is open source and can be downloaded from GitHub. Chat GPT plugin is available for download from GitHub and will quote, make it easier to understand Solana data and protocols or surface data about Solana's computing infrastructure and DeFi projects. Current functions for the plugin include purchasing NFTs, transferring tokens, inspecting transactions, interpreting public account data, and finding NFT collections by floor price on Solana. Quote from the Solana co-founder, Every developer building consumer-oriented apps should be thinking about how their app is going to be interacted with through an AI model because this is a new paradigm for telling computers what to do. Speaking of Solana, Stepin is a company building a protocol on Solana, move to earn, Stepin integrates Apple Pay, Apple Pay Marketplace has integrated Stepin. We are thrilled to announce that Stepin is the first blockchain gaming app to secure a landmark integration with Apple Pay, breaking down the barrier to entry for Web3. Sneakers are now just a tap away. Users will not need a crypto wallet to purchase Stepin sneaker NFTs. They can simply use Apple Pay to buy in quick, private, and secure ways. The only downside to all this is that... Apple's iOS marketplace is charging their own, I believe, 30% fee, so they are more expensive here. Still, this is big news. Binance is denying a recent Reuters report that it has commingled customer funds. Binance is pushing back. Binance Chief Communications Officer Patrick Hillman called the story weak in a five-paragraph tweet on Tuesday today. Quote, This story is so weak that they had to put up front Reuters found no evidence that Binance client monies were lost or taken in a transparent attempt to protect themselves from a libel suit. Hillman then said underneath that, they then pinned 1,000 words of conspiracy theories, which we explained were false, with zero evidence other than a former insider. GameFi developer Gala Games. Gala Games has their gaming arm, obviously. They have their movie arm. Now it seems they're going to have a poker arm. GameFi developer Gala Games to launch Web3 poker platform with Poker Go. Quote, players will soon realize the heightened entertainment that comes with playing poker in an immersive Web3 environment, according to the founder of Gala Games. GameFi project Gala Games announced that it has partnered with Las Vegas poker streaming platform Poker Go to launch a new Web3 social poker game. Dubbed Poker Go Play, users will have the ability to enhance and upgrade their players in addition to redeeming real-world prizes. Poker Go is scheduled for beta testing in June, with the full release being available this year. Gala Game Enthusiasts, are you excited about this? Let me know. Ledger, after huge community backlash for their Ledger Recovery Update, 
has delayed this update until open sourcing is available. Ledger will delay the release of its recover service after backlash on social media. The CEO had this to say, we believe wholeheartedly in the need for a service like Ledger Recover. Those of us who have been in the space for a long time, over a decade in my case, have a responsibility to ensure that everyone can be self-sovereign and can have self-custody over their digital value. Ledger won't release Recover until the open sourcing is complete. Listen to the CEO of Ledger talk about this himself. Ledger CEO, the only concern is if we get subpoenaed by the government, but he says more than this, listen to the CEO talk about Ledger. 99% of the cases, you know, there is no collusion that is really possible between the, the, the three entities. The way that this is built, like, you know, you can only, uh, you, only the user can sort of call back the, the, the three shards. The only concern really is if we get subpoena by yes. uh, a government to say now, you know, this user specifically, you know, we would like you to, you know, retrieve the three shards, etc. So that's not a real concern in the end because for several reasons. Um, one, you only get subpoena like this by governments if it's a serious act, like, you know, terrorism, drugs, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Like, it's not true that the average person gets subpoena every day. Can I just interrupt that? Uh, Coinbase had all their customer data subpoenaed by the yes. I, uh, IRS. John Doe. Yeah. yeah. And so so they had to su supply every customer. Was it over $10,000 or 20000 20000 yeah. 20000 Over a three-month rolling period. And they gave all and their And Coinbase data. fought back because they wanted, I they think, did. 3, they were, uh, But Coinbase is a bank. This is not a banking service. Okay, so it's very different. But but it's what I'm saying is the IRS wanted that information. If if something there is no like, information for the IRS on this. Well, they, you do have ex pubs, but you had them before too on Ledger Live, right? I mean, there is no real information for the IRS on this, etc. And by the way, like you know, again, this is th there will be trade offs in the future. Yeah. Uh, uh, so like we're not saying that uh, you know if you're uncomfortable with this, you can keep your 24 words and you know. Keep doing what you're doing today. This doesn't change anything, okay? Doesn't change anything, doesn't create a backdoor. We can come back on open source, no open source, yeah. but in the end, like we are a good actor, like we don't create backdoors in our user of device. Course. And by the way, if we did, the business goes south very quickly. Coinbase is moving forward with a mass national advertising campaign for themselves and for all of crypto. This week, DC will see a new TV campaign that explains how crypto moves America forward and why it's the most important technology we have to create more economic freedom. It's time to update the system. Crypto can help. The naive view of crypto is that this is some speculative asset that people are trading and they're gonna lose their shirts. That's missing the forest through the trees. Fundamentally, crypto is not a financial product. It's, it's a technology that can update all kinds of financial products. It can improve settlement times. It can make it cheaper to send money to your family overseas in another country. It can be a new way for artists to get paid. Cryptocurrency, regardless of what you think about it, it's not going anywhere. It can't be uninvented. Most of the world is embracing this technology now to update their financial system. And what I fear is that we're going to be sitting here in five or 10 years, and we're going to come back to crypto and think about it like we did with 5G or semiconductors and say, wow, now it's a matter of national security that we get it brought back on shore. We need to see what the potential of it is and where it goes. And we need to do that. We need a clear rule book in the United States. In other news, Representative Patrick McHenry said the House Financial Services Committee and the Agricultural Panel will meet jointly in May as they work on crypto legislation. U.S. House will have a crypto bill in two months. On the other hand, Joe Biden won't accept a debt deal protecting crypto traders. United States President Joe Biden has expressed opposition to a debt ceiling deal that he says would benefit wealthy tax cheats and crypto traders while putting food assistance programs at risk. So much is happening in crypto. You never want to miss a minute. Subscribe to the channel, like the video. Tell me what you think about the coins we talked about below. And I'll see you tomorrow.